What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Now, I know usually when a new set comes out, we usually cover the whole thing, but we already kind of covered Fates Collide when we covered the set review of uh, the Psychic Awakening King, Awakening of the Psychic King. Uh, it's pretty much the same set. There's some cards that are a little bit different. So instead of covering the whole set, I'm actually going to cover my top 10 favorite cards of Fates Collide. Uh, so they're, they're probably not the best. There are probably some other ones that I'm going to miss. I know I missed a couple just right off the bat. But these are my top 10 favorite cards in order from Fates Collide. So let's go over them and let's see what are they. So at the number 10 spot, we have Marowak. Now Marowak is only in here because of its amazing ability, Bodyguard. Bodyguard says, prevent all effects of attacks done to your hand by your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, remove any existing 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 effects, there we go. Um, now this means that, let's say, uh, the biggest one is Size Stone. Uh, so Size Stone, when it uses Quake and Punch, it makes it where you can't play any item cards from your hand, which is, you know, really bad. You can't play any item cards, but Marowak says, hey, you're not going to do this. And, you know, this card would be higher up on the list, but Side Stone has seen, like, a drop off. It's, it still played some, but it's not the most dominant deck like we saw, like, a year ago. It was, Side Stone was pretty much everywhere, but now... It's not, you know, best queens around can can control it. There's other decks as well which can control Science of Toad. So if, if Science of Toad was one of the biggest decks, I would see Marowak as a higher up seed. But right now it is a number 10 spot. All right, so at number 9, we have Genesect EX. Uh, Genesect EX, it's mainly in here because Genesect is, like, one of my favorite Pokemon. Like, Genesect Frisian is, like, one of my favorite decks of all time. And it has the ability Drive Change, which is pretty neat. Once during your turn, before you attack, you may return a Pokemon tool card attached to this Pokemon to your hand. So you can maybe reuse tools, maybe switch out tools from Genesect if you want to, uh, which is pretty neat. Rapid Blaster 100, discard as many lightning energy attached to this Pokemon as you like. This deck does 20 more damage for each metal. I think I said lightning, but it's definitely metal. I don't. I, I said li lightning because I was playing electric, but I, if I said lightning, I'm not sure. But you would discard as many metal energy attached to this Pokemon as you like. This deck does 20 more damage for each metal energy you discard it. So obviously you can play this with Bronzong. You see that, you know, you can play Bronzong, you reuse Genesis over and over again. You do have to discard Four metal energy to take a knockout though, because with three, you only do 160. You could play a muscle band uh, to do 180. Uh, maybe, oh, this is where you can switch out. You can play muscle band or fighting fear belt to do 170 or 180, which is pretty neat. So that could maybe see a, maybe we'll probably see a deck with that. Genocide to Bronzong. I definitely want to play that deck with maybe Zork and Standard so you can stand in, use metal links onto your Genocide, uh, retreat back into your Genocide, use Rapid Blaster. Uh, man, that seems like a lot of fun. So so that's going to be my number 9 spot. Probably not the best attacker, but I mean, Genesect is just, you know, has a place in my heart. So at the number 8 spot, I know a lot of people aren't happy about this card. They're probably pretty upset. I'm actually happy because it does control a lot of different decks, and that is going to be in. Uh, this is actually the Noble Victories one, but in, it's a reprint. Each player shuffles their hand into the deck, and then each player draws a card from each of their prized cards remaining. Now this is going to help out against a lot of decks. There wasn't really a way to punish your opponent. If they took a lot of prize cards, yay, we had Ace Trainer, and we had Judge, and everything like that. But, ending your opponent down to one is probably one of the, like, most devastating things you could do with them. Like, you're, like, in to one, I only get one card. Yeah, you only get one card, and that's what in is back for. I'm really excited that in is back. It is going to slow down some decks, hopefully help out against Night March. Some, we'll see. I mean, Night March still plays, like, you know, four Shamans and all that stuff. So we'll have to see if N can really help us with Night March or not. That is the big question. But I'm just overall happy that N is back. I know that Professor Birch's observation is gone. But hopefully N can save the format. Alright, so that's why it's in here at the number 10, 9, 8 spots. Alright. So at number 7, we have Bronzong Break. And I know we just talked about Genesect DX or Bronzong. But Bronzong Break is actually a really cool card. Uh, first off, Bronzong Break has 130 HP. So now your Bronzong has even more HP. And it has Metal Rain. Metal Rain, which is a pretty cool attack. This card has many Metal Energy attached to this Pokemon as you like. For each Metal Energy discarded in this way, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon to do 30 damage to it. Don't apply Weakness and Resistance. You may choose the same Pokemon more than once. So let's say you discard, I don't know, three Metal... Uh, let's do four Metal Energies, right? Uh, you can either put four Metal Energies or four those 30 damage onto four different Pokemon. You can do 66... Uh, 
yeah, 60-60, like quick 60 damage on one Pokemon, 60 damage on one Pokemon, or 120 to knock out a Shaman. The reason why I like Metal Rain is because you can't just knock out a Shaman out of nowhere. You do have to discard four energy, but if you have three Bronzong down, it could be possible. You might have to waste a turn of like just putting your Metal Energy on your Bronzong randomly, and then evolve it to break, and then... Double Metal Inks and Energy Attachment or something like that. That could be really cool. But, I mean, Bronzong having 130 HP is a really big deal. And I do like that a lot. So, that would be 10, 9, 8, 7. So, at the 7 spot, we have Bronzong. All right. So, next up, I think it's number 6, if I remember correctly. Uh, number 6 is going to be Mega Alakazam. All right. So, Mega Alakazam, not really too much to show off. Um, I just like it because of the Mega, Alakazam, and uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So, yeah, we're almost close to number 5. So, we're putting Mega Alakazam at number 6 because it has a really cool attack. Zen Force 10, this attack does 30 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon, which might not seem like a lot, but... Uh, this is going to be really cool with Alakazam that shall fear in a second. But the main thing I'm happy about this is I do like Alakazam a lot. Uh, like playing red and blue, getting the Alakazam was one of my favorite Pokemon to get. Um, I think it's probably one of my favorite psychic Pokemon. Gengar is definitely really close. Uh, but some people might say Gengar is a ghost Pokemon and a psychic Pokemon. Um, so Alakazam is definitely up there. I do like it a lot. And I mean, we haven't seen Alakazam being printed in a long time. Time. I think it's been like maybe SP, uh, like 2010, 2011 since Alakazam's been printed, and maybe even before that. I can't 100% make sure. Um, I think it was like an Alakazam EX. Uh, don't quote me on that. I can't remember which Alakazam it is. Uh, but man, I'm glad that Alakazam is back in the game. And Zen Force is a pretty cool attack. And the reason why it's such a good attack is because of this Alakazam. Of course, next up is going to be the Alakazam. Uh, it should be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah, it'll be the number 5 spot. Alakazam. Now, the reason why this card is such a good card is you have the ability Kinesis. Um, when you play Mega Alakazam from your hand to evolve this Pokemon, before it evolves, you may put two damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon and three damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Uh, so you can, can see how it kind of works together. You know, Alakazam is going to spread the damage, and the Mega Alakazam is going to take some knockouts. So three damage counters own uh one of your opponent's bench pokemon might not seem like a lot but spreading that damage around it's going to be great uh maybe play maybe play like bats or something i'm not sure how mega alakazam and alakazam are going to work just yet the japanese commercial they had it in there looked so cool um just spreading the damage everywhere and taking multiple knockouts in a turn was really really neat uh you will have to put down like four alakazams and mega ball them and to like knock out a shaman or something pretty crazy to do that but it might be possible. We'll see. I do like this a lot. And, I mean, you can just heavily damage your opponent. And then Mega Alakazam can just knock out this Pokemon pretty easily, which I do like a lot. So, number four is going to be number another reprint. And I know it's going to be kind of strange to see it. But it's actually going to be Devolution Spray. Um, so, Devolution Spray. We're actually going to look at the Dragon's Exalted print. Devolve one of your Evolve Pokemon and put that highest stage Evolution card into your hand so obviously this has a synergy with mega alakazam and alakazam uh, you can put it back into your hand reuse it on a different pokemon and this is a really really cool concept and i'm pretty sure there's going to be other pokemon that work with devolution spray i'm not 100 percent sure what they are going to be but i imagine someone will like figure out a way how to work this devolution spray and make it kind of broke i mean i don't know devolution spray has always been really cool the idea of, of picking up on your pokemon put it down into pokemon you could Devolution spray your Crobats and Golbats instead of Super Scoop Up, which is really nice. I know there's only one of them. Um, devolve one of your Vault Pokemon, put the highest stage evolution into your hand. But reusing Crobat over and over again pretty easily. It's really nice without a coin flip as well. Uh, so maybe Crobat could be one. Mega Alexam is definitely one as well. And I'm interested to see what else is there is going to be with Devolution Spray. I really am happy for this card. Alright, so that was a number four spot. And number four, number three, at number three, you're pretty you're gonna see pretty easily what three, two, one are gonna be. So at the number three spot, we have Regirog EX from Fates Collide. Um now his ability is Reggie Power. The attacks of your fighting Pokemon do ten more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So this is kinda like the Oxes that we had back a couple sets ago, Plasma Freeze, don't quote me on that set, uh, but there's the Deoxys that gave all your Plasma Pokemon 10 more HP, which was really, really nice to hit those crucial numbers, and Red Rock is pretty cool because now your Fighting Pokemon have this ability with Red Rock to do 10 more damage, they got uh, Fighting Energy, 
Uh, they got the fighting stadium. There's a lot of things going on for fighting Pokemon right now to make them one of the strongest, you know, types in the game. And I really am excited about this. And you have Bedwreck Pross, uh, Bedwreck Press, sorry. 100 damage during your opponent's next turn. Any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. Uh, also, Regirock is excluding Regirock EX. I don't know if I said that. It's kind of like Deoxys. Um, but still, 100 uh, this Pokemon attacks is reduced by 20. Not the strongest attack. We're definitely using it for its ability to do that 10 extra damage. It might not seem like a lot, but man, that 10 damage is going to matter a lot. So that's our number third, three spot. And our number two spot, we're going to have Power Memory. Uh, we're kind of seeing a theme going on right now, but Power, power Memory... You can attach this pull tool to any Pokemon, uh, but only Zygarde can use this tool. The Zygarde EX this card is attached to can also use the attack on this card. You still need the necessary energies to use this attack, and it has the attack all cells burn. It does 200 damage, and you have to discard 3 energy attached to this Pokemon, which it needs 3 energies to attack, which is kind of like the downside. Like, you had to have 3 energies on your Zygarde to, you know, do 200 damage, um... But still, I mean, this is kind of like G-Booster that we saw with Rizzi and Genesect. And this is our number two spot. So, I mean, our number one spot, it's going to be pretty easy to tell. And that is going to be Zygarde EX. Yes, I think Zygarde EX is definitely my favorite attacker in Face Collide. <clears throat> Alright, so uh, Zygarde EX has first attack. It's gonna, it has three attacks, first off, which is amazing. It also has 190 HP. Which is amazing as well. I mean, this is one of our highest EX Pokemon without being a Mega, which is really, really nice. Put a Fighting Fury Bell on that guy. He has 230. Woo! All right, I'm excited for this guy. But Lance Pulse, 20. If there's a Stadium card to play, this tech does 20 more damage. So let's say you have Fighting uh, a Fighting Stadium Bell. You can do 20, then another 20, so 40, and then the Fighting Stadium 60. Just off that right there, uh, Fighting uh, Fighting. Of fighting energy, so now we're doing 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, 20, 40, 60, 80, yeah, so 80, and with the Red Rock, you can do 90 damage for one energy, you can do 90 damage if you have all that stuff out, it is five different things, but 90 damage for one energy is crazy, you're two-shotting EXs with one energy, while they have to two-shot you as well, which is really Really, really nice. This is why I love Zygarde. It's going to be such a strong card, and I am so excited to play this. And they're making a 10 out of this, a 10 promo card. Oh, man, thank you, Pokemon. The second attack is going to be Cell Storm 60. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon, so maybe we can kind of tank it up some. Maybe play, like, Pokemon Sinner Lady. Get kind of fancy, but Cell Storm for 60, including, you know, all the different side effects and everything like that. Cell Storm can easily, maybe, it can maybe one-shot. Let's see. If you have 60, all right, let's see. You have 60... <clears throat> On it, you have four Red Rock, 100, a Fighting Stadium, 120, and four Red Rock EX. You have 160, and the Muscle Man, 180. So you could potentially, you could potentially one shot an EX with two energy with Cell Storm. That is crazy. That is amazing. And then lands are at 400. But I think once you get to the three energies, you're just going to life center somebody up and use power memory. Uh, the cool thing about power memory, it's not an A spec. So you can play multiples in your deck. And I'm excited to see what Zygarde is going to do for the game. <clears throat> the only thing I'm kind of scared of is Night March. Like, Night March can easily just take this deck down. But they do have to put a lot of Night Marches in the discard pile before they can start knocking out your Zygarde. He is weak to grass. The Vest Queen is kind of a worry. But. Uh, I mean, I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I'm excited to see what Zygarde is. And uh, so that is my top 10 list. Let's go over it one more time. It is going to be Marowak because of its ability. Genesect DS yes, because Genesect is one of my favorite Pokemon. And because we can finally control our opponent's hand. Bronzong to give our Bronzong, Bronzong every, uh, extra HP. Uh, next up is going to be Mega Alakazam because Mega Alakazam is, uh, Alakazam is finally getting a reprint and has a cool attack that combines with Alakazam uh, EX with the Kinesis ability. Uh, next up is Devon Lucian Spray uh, to combo with Mega Alakazam as well as other cards and I'm excited to see what those are going to be. Red Rock EX to give Reggie Power to do 10 more damage for all your fighting Pokemon. Power Memory so you can do 200 damage. Maybe I should swap those. I don't know which one's second or third. Power Memory or Red Rock. They both seem really good. And last but not least, it's going to be Zygarde X. So that is going to be my top 10 list from Face Collide. And I know there's probably cards I missed, like Carving Break. Um, there's Carving. There's Mew. Uh, there's probably some other stuff as well. But this is my top 10 list. These are the top 10 cards I like the most. Um, like I said, there are a ton of cards in Face Collide that you could maybe go over and talk about. But we're just going my top 10 favorite cards. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. 
Thanks for watching. Leave your comments down below as to what your favorite card from Fates Collide is. I am actually, I'm actually interested to see what people think about the set. A lot of people say the set is really bad. It doesn't have anything really. But I think it does bring a lot into the standard format, which I am excited about. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.